Hi Rosebuds, it's Rosie. I am here again with you uh, doing some altering of some dollar store composition books. So uh, here's the samples that I made. I um, basically just covered the, the covers and then I put some little pockets on both sides. And I didn't do anything in the middle except I did kind of distress the, the edges. This one's similar, except I went a little bit farther on this one and um, did a little tie. Got a little um, mini tag on the front, glued that down to secure the tie. And then um, the back. This one, it's a little bit warped uh, with the glue and everything. You kind of have to bend it a little bit to get it straight. But I did one a little bit farther, like I said, and did pocket with the tag. And then I did a pocket with a little journal card here. So that's that one. And then I have a bigger one that I did. Um, this one I'm not I'm not as happy with this size um, as with the other ones. Um, but I think I'm gonna well in this video I'm gonna add a couple of embellishments to it. Um, I also have some glue on there. So this is what I've got so far, and then I have in here, I covered the interior because the uh, actual covers were plastic in kind of hideous colors. So I did a pocket with a little tag, and then um, I didn't do anything on this one. And this is, I'm not doing anything on the interior. So let's get to it. All right. So... The first thing we'll do is this little mini uh, composition book. Now, you can get these at the dollar store. They come in little packs of um, three for a dollar. Um, I heard that you could also get them at uh, Walmart. And I heard they might so sometimes run cheaper than at the dollar store. So, wherever. And they're also maybe a little bit better made than the dollar store ones. Anyway, these are what I got. This is what I'm doing. So, what I already did to make this go a little bit quicker is I already pre-measured um, the cover, the, the covers and the back cover, front and cover. Can I talk? Front and back cover. And I have, um, let's see, so I measured, depending on, you know, this is, um, based on this little book, depending on what kind of composition book you get. I did um, three by three by four and a half. And then that's going to leave, um, I'm going to just place it right here when I do the glue, and it's going to leave a little bit that you'll just have to cut off um, on the edge here and then the top and bottom. So I the initially um, on this one I did it with wet glue and I'm not going to do it with wet glue this time. I'm going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac because um, the wet glue s just warped the, the book and since this isn't wet glue um, this is a lot better. Hi. Okay. So. I just had a visitor. I tell them I am doing a video and they come and pester me anyway. Oh well. I will live. Um, I am, um, I do this, I'm OCD about this. When I cut things, it, I don't know if you've noticed, when you cut things, it kind of leaves a, like an edge, and so I always smooth that edge down because it bothers me. It bugs me, and so I just... Okay, so I feel like this... I, don't, I won't need to trim that so much because that leaves enough there. I'm just going to do that, and it's going to leak over... Probably, um, I just kind of want to get all of that to smooth all the way out. 
so that um, it'll get as much to the edges as possible. And with Fabri-Tac, which is nice, I could just rub it off um, the cover and it won't ruin it. But with wet glue, it totally starts taking the paper away, which I was having a little bit of trouble with that on the, the first two that I made. So I'm not going to waste my time um, getting all that glue up and I've been moving uh, my desk around so I don't know where my little glue eraser thing is but I will do that afterwards so that I don't have to waste your time with that. And then what I've been able to do is just use this little guy since I kind of have a straight edge to just cut that off. Okay, perfect. And then there's a little bit left here. Perfect. All right, and then I'm going to take my scissors and just cut around. There we go. One thing I I noticed is um, the corners aren't very nice and round on these guys. It's kind of irritating, but I will live. Okay, I'm just going to get some of that glue bled out. I'm going to do that. Okay, so there's our first cover. And then I noticed when I cut, it kind of did that whole thing lifting up again. Might need to, yep. Just trim a little bit more because I guess I have OCD. I don't know. I have to, it has to be right. It has to be perfect for me. I don't know. Need to get over that. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna smooth that over again. And then get the, the stuff out of the way. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. Okay, so side one done, and then we'll distress it afterwards. Um, one thing that I should have done is, oh, here, I'm gonna just cut a little bit of glue there. I'm going to go ahead and distress this edge. I should have done it on the other one. That's one thing you wanna do, because once it's glued down, you can't distress the edge that's right there easily. Okay. So then that's going to go there, like that. Oops, I might have gone a little bit too far over there. I know you're probably going, you use way too much. It's just what I do. No judgment. Okay. And I want to make sure I do this the right way because I always uh, tend to do it the wrong way. Okay, so I want to make sure that that's right up there to the edge. And then I want to rub that all the way. Whoops, it's still kind of moving around a lot that all the way to the edge so that that glue covers everything. I love Fabri-Tac. It's kind of expensive, but I like it. Okay. Just rub that off. And you don't really have to worry much about anything here because it's not going to take your paper. It's not going to ruin your paper. I got a lot on the center. I'm going to just take that off. Even though I said I wasn't going to waste your time. I guess I'm wasting your time. Okay. I can't help it. Alrighty. So that feels good. Now I have to have some 
can have her tack on the pages, it looks like even. that one so all I gotta really do is cut off this one do the little uh, edges or corners so yeah I'm gonna probably pop um, some of these in my um, Etsy store after I get done I'm gonna do a little mass make thing um, decide exactly what kind of embellishments I want in it I chose this one because I, I don't know if you saw my last video, but I absolutely love these florals, so I thought that would be really cute to have on there. And it's the, what I used was the um, little 6x6, uh, six six. Um, you know in the Tim Holtz they have the 6x6, six six. You, you get the 12x12s 12 12s and then they, the, he puts them down into like four 6x6s. Six is it 6x6? Six Four of them? Yeah. I had to do math really quick in my head. Okay, so now I'm going to distress the edges. And I don't care how sloppy I get because this is like supposed to be old fashion. And so you see, I didn't do this one, so I'm going to have to like kind of pretend like I did by doing a little bit of maneuvering. And then I, I got to wipe that off because it gets on the black and it doesn't really stay on the black very well, I noticed. Oh, and then I'm going to also um, distress the uh, paper edges. Okay. This is such an old uh, vintage photo container, but I just got some refill ink. I didn't even know it existed until recently, and I filled it up. Okay, so there's that so far. And then I have um, some other little things that we can use for... Um, pockets and stuff. So, um, I believe this, yes, this was going to be, um, I think on the back side. And then this one, I think, yes, I'm going to do that, a little pocket there. Okay, so I'm going to round the corners though, because I like rounded corners. It's hard for me not to round corners. I really like to have them rounded. And I'm going to eyeball this and do a little. That's pretty close. Oops, flying paper. Okay. And then I'm going to distress it, but first I'm going to flatten the edges because that's bugging me already. This is so distressing. OMG. Okay. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing some pre recordings, trying to get ahead of things. So, having a nice weekend. It's been pretty sunny out today, although it was raining last night. And this is Saturday morning. Um, this video is probably not going to go out till Monday or Tuesday. So yeah, I'm uh, 
I'm going to get this glue off before I put this on. Um, oops, I guess I waited too long. I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get some paper and do another. I'm going to put something in there because I don't, I'm OCD. We've established this. I'm OCD. It needs to be right. Okay. So let's find something here. So yeah, it was, um, I guess that's supposed to rain again tonight. I, I don't know. We'll see. But um, that would be cute. Just right there. Maybe I'll do that one. On that side. And then I'll have to do something on the other side. This is thinner paper too, so it won't be, uh, make it as bulky. So yeah, I'm, um, enjoying sitting in front of my window. I don't think I'm going to get sick of it. Now that I don't have that big bulky desk, I could just have this little small desk and craft away. Okay, I'm not finding really good, um... Maybe I could use that for both of them, possibly. I can do one with this and one with that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. We shall do that. All right, so this is um, three by four and a half, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it to three first of all. Was that three? Three by four and a half, yeah. I have a paper cutter coming. Oops, I'm gonna move this down a little bit. Um, the Tim Holtz one, the the guillotine one. I saw somebody um, using it on a video I was watching, and I was like, I definitely need that because I don't know if you guys have noticed, a lot of the cutters out there do not cut straight. It is so annoying. Uh, especially when you're trying, you know, like you're doing something that absolutely needs some straight cutting. Nope. Not doing it. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right there. Like right there. And the, I want to include the butterfly on one of them. Actually, I want the butterfly to go up a little bit higher because I have this. Okay, let's see. I have that going there, so I probably want the butterfly there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to just do this. I'm going to lower this a little bit. You'll see what I'm doing in just a sec. Okay. Yeah, so the cutters, I just have not had good success with the cutters. It's drives me insane, especially when you're trying to make really, like, straight cuts and then it comes out crooked. Okay, this is four and a half, two, three, four and a half. Okay. And I'm learning to write measurements down, especially doing videos, and I know that there's the whole thing of, oh, you know, we don't need measurements which I agree to a certain extent. I usually don't, but when I'm doing videos, I just feel like I kind of need to do them. Oh, so that didn't work, and the reason why is because there's this here, but that's okay, I guess. That's frustrating. Was there another one like that, or did I use it already? I'm gonna just check. I think I might have already used that one up. The, se the second page up. Yeah, it did. Bum. Bummer. Oh, well, what's this one? That one. Mm -hmm. I have a whole bunch of these pads, the ones that are like this that are not cardstock, they're just regular size paper. Um, I coffee dyed some of them. They coffee dye pretty good, just FYI, in case you were wondering. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this be what it is. I think it'll be okay. Let me see. I'm going to put this here. 
that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Kind of bugs me, but maybe I'll put some washi tape or something down there. I thought. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this again because I'm trying not to get the wet. I do have to smear this one around though because um, otherwise it'll make the lines It'll make the lines on the paper. Do you, have you ever noticed that? How if you just put it on like this and you put the paper on, it like takes the lines that were on the um, when you squ squirted the glue out on the paper. So okay, I'm gonna try to make it so I only have to cut one end. Well, that's not going to work, but... I'll go with it. I'm going to wipe my finger off. Gluey finger. Okay. Unfortunately, the design is not going to um, look messed up so much. I was a little bit off center there. what I'm going to sell these on my um, Etsy for. I think it really kind of just depends on how much work I put into it. You know, if I just do the covers and that's that, then it's not going to be too expensive. But if I go in and make some tags and do the covers and all that, then maybe like four I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. I could do a pack for 10. Okay. So there's that. That looks cute. I'm going to distress a little bit. to get um, looking at some of the challenges that are going on right now. I know that some of the Facebook groups also have some challenges, so I'm going to check those out as well and probably make a challenge video this weekend. Or I don't know if it's so much called challenge video or if it's just those videos where it's like kind of like the eFargos don't freak out before Christmas videos when she was making using up the 12 by there's that one going around is it Dee Dee Fargo that's doing that I can't remember I think it is but um, she does the 12 by 12 card stock usage and um, you know there's a couple of ones that she did that I really like uh, so I'll probably be doing that come this um, weekend okay so I'm gonna do that that's a perfect fit. I also, um, I, I talked about it in the previous video. I'm going to be doing contest for um, 50 and 100 subscribers, so I'm hoping that I can uh, ramp up my subscriber views. Uh, I think by doing some videos, it's gonna, more videos out, putting more videos out is going to help me. Um, and you can join me also on TikTok and um, 
on Instagram. My tags are Norco Calrose Designs on both platforms, on all of my platforms. That's my name. Um, and yeah, I'm uh, gonna be uh, having some contests and. Um, one of the things I'm working on putting up on my Etsy site is is uh, one of the contest things I'm going to have is I'm working on getting um, grab bags. Uh, it's kind of like a junk journal kit without a blank journal um, in it. And it's going to be a grab bag of things that you could use in a journal kit. So. Um, that's probably going to be uh, one of the prizes, something like that. And uh, to be honest, it'll probably be more things than what I would normally put because I want to really like make sure that my subbies feel good about what they're getting out of my shows and as prizes and as a big thank you. So, um, yeah, so looking forward to having some more subscribers if you know anybody that um, you think will like my my videos let them know I am gonna probably have a contest um, on like the, the way they do I've seen it done like share and like and subscribe that kind of thing um, and then you get entered into the contest kind of thing so I'm probably gonna do it on uh, I'm gonna do a contest on all of the platforms uh, just to get things going where is my pencil there it is so I'm gonna be doing it on TikTok and I'm gonna be doing it on Instagram and I'm gonna be doing it with my YouTube channel so I'm being kind of messy here. Oof. Let's get a little clips from Dollar Store. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. I did not know. Uh, the last time I looked on, I gotta put this up to the light. Oh, maybe I'm just gonna glue it. The last time I looked on the Dollar Store website, I um. I, I didn't realize that they sold as many crafters corner or whatever it's called on the site and they do they have a lot of stuff on the site so I don't know if you know that you probably do um, but they're getting good they've got some you know I mean you can't do everything with with dollar store but they they're getting good with the items that they have and um, it's pretty fun to to go to the store and find it and now knowing it's online kind of cool oh I need to put that in a little bit oh I forgot to flatten this down okay there we go I should have maybe done a little um what you call it circle in there half circle Thumbnail, what, what do they call those? I don't know. I'm not good with words, guys. Okay, so now I'm just gonna trim this up. And we're almost done with this one. Oops. Oh, I didn't quite get it to the edge. Good job, Rosie. Good job, Rosie. Okay. Oh, I think I just cut into the um the circle part. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. And I just realized also that I forgot to um hold on. I'm gonna get this a little bit better. I forgot to distress um, this thing before I put it in. So it's 
bending it a little bit too much for my liking. Okay. Anybody watch any good shows lately? I feel like I've watched everything there is to watch and it's so frustrating because like I still want to watch things. Right now, actually, I am watching one show. It's what it's the secret she keeps on Amazon. I think it's Sundance. Um, it's about a lady that wants a baby really bad and takes somebody else's baby. Which is an awful thing, but it's interesting. I like, I like true crime, and I also like crime type shows like that. So, I watch shows like that. Okay, so there's, that's good. And then we have that, and we can make a little a little tag to put in here. I'm just going to stick it in there and then see. So I'm going to cut it just right below that line. Let me see right there. Where is my, my stapler? I was going to say my stapler. I'm not looking for my stapler. I'm looking for my ruler. Okay. And then, um, oh, I have to, I'm so anal about this stuff. <laughs> I have to get it right. Okay. Make a little mini tag. And then I have my little... Scoring, or uh, not scoring, corner punch thing. Wait, that's not quite there. There we go. Uh, that didn't work really good. I didn't do that one great. What did I do wrong there? Oh, I see. I didn't line, I didn't line this one up as well. looks weird but okay I'm gonna leave it it's not supposed to be perfect I gotta just remember that okay and then the back of this you could still write on it I I'm for the sake of time I'm not gonna cover the back of it but I would probably because you can't really um, write on it great okay so I'm gonna find the center here really quick and put it right there like punch a hole. Wrong side. Okay. There we go. Get out a little. What are these things? I can't think of words today. I don't remember what these are called, but I'm getting one out. Okay. Put that one in. Oops. Still a little discombobulated with my um, the way my craft room is. I need to spend some time to get it done exactly the right way, um, but I think that's going to be next weekend. I really this weekend's a short weekend for me. Well, it's not really a short weekend, but I also have to do some work. So next weekend I don't have to work on the weekend. Which is really nice. Okay, so that's done. And so next weekend, I think I'm going to finish it up. And then I want to get some lace. Somebody on, I think it was Pam Paper Outpost, her, on her um, book or her Facebook group, somebody posted that they were doing something like this. And I thought, wow, I gotta totally do that. So uh, now I can see my ribbons and what colors and everything they are a lot easier. Um, here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. So I spent some time when I was organizing to do that. And it's really nice. Um, should I do that one? Yeah, I'm gonna do that one. So 
computers. My desk is getting a little messy. A little messy. Put that there. What's going on over there, monkey girl? Trying to get cozy in your chair? She loves sitting in front of the uh, window as well. Watch as the golfers go by and growls at them. Okay, I think I'm going to go this way. I hate it when it does that, though. I think I'm going to cut it a little bit more. There. Okay. I'm getting messy. I'm getting messy. guys uh, want to see my dog um, I have she has an Instagram site I, I don't post as much as I should let me just um, find her Instagram it's um, it's monkey the one and only dog and here let me I'll share a picture with you. This is her. <laughs> she's stinking cute. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She was uh, waiting for dad one day uh, when he was in signing her up for her surgery. She had, um, it wasn't surgery, it was teeth. She was getting her teeth done and they had to pull a couple of teeth. I am looking for some string, and I think I need to get up to get that, so one second. I'll be right back with you. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to go with the green string. Let me just get it all out because I've been using it today. Oops. There we go. I'm getting a pile. I'm getting a pile at the side of my desk I need to clear up soon. Okay, I'm going to cut this. Okay. Come on now. Cooperation. Okay, there. And then um, for these, what I do is I do it like, like when you're uh, doing the ribbon, when you're doing presents. Oops, I do this and it kind of makes it curl up a little bit the same way. I'm going to pull that, I'm going to do that, and then there. So now we've got this little guy here. Fit right in there. Cute. And then I do have a little uh, journaling card that I got ready. And I don't know the measurements of this. I will check it out really quick. Um, so it's one, two, three three and a half by like two and a half and I'm gonna just stick it there after I do the corners and distress it I always forget to do both sides because a lot of times when you do the one side, it doesn't automatically get to the other side. I don't know if you guys noticed that same thing. Okay. So there we go. That one's done. Now, you could, like I did on this one, uh, go even farther and add a tie to it. Um, 
punch a little hole here and put um, one of these little do hooky things in there on both sides maybe even and do a little tie but for now this is good I mean when you think of what it came from you know hold on let me get one it went from looking kind of ugly to looking pretty cute pretty cute yeah I like it okay so that's that one so that's uh, the small version of the notebooks and uh, we're gonna go into a part two video um, that will cover the larger notebooks so um, this will be the end of this video and thank you for watching if you are interested go ahead and hit the subscribe button or you can also um, and you can also hit the little bell down at the bottom and that will um, notify you when I'm doing videos so have a great day bye bye